Solve 16 to the power of x plus 20 to the power of x equals 25 to the power of x. Have you solved this equation? It was not easy, right? A lot of elements at stake moreover. I'll check them out for you to see if you master them all before the video actually starts at some point. I'm going to make a change of variables because we won't be able to solve directly. So I'm going to do some substitutions and to actually have a slightly simpler equation and once i have done that well i see a quadratic equation and so i'm going to use the famous delta so here are two main elements which we're going to do so it's good to have seen the video before otherwise as usual i do everything so that the person watching can predate and manage to do so here 16 can be written in terms of base 2 that is 4 squared is 16 so we get to write that whole to the power of x plus 20 can be written as 4 times 5 and whole to the power of x equals 25 is written as 5 squared whole to the power of x now we get 4 to the power of x whole squared plus 4 to the power of x times 5 to the power of x is equal to 5 to the power of x the whole squared as you already know this for example a times b whole to the power of n is equal to a to the power of n times b to the power of n so we have substituted the same a to the power of n whole to the power of b you can exchange the powers a to the power of b whole to the power of n now we are going to divide both sides by 4 to the power of x the whole squared as we know if we have common denominator we can split the terms a plus b over c is equal to a over c plus b over c so we're going to apply that so we have common denominator we're going to split these terms 4 to the power of x the whole square divided by the same gives 1 plus 4 to the power of x times 5 to the power of x divided by 4 to the power of x the whole square can be written as 4 to the power of x times 4 to the power of x which is equal to 5 to the power of x over 4 to the power of x the whole squared so we get 1 plus 4 to the power of x over 4 to the power of x gets cancelled so we are left with 5 to the power of x over 4 to the power of x equals 5 to the power of x over 4 to the power of x the whole squared now we can combine the powers 1 plus 5 over 4 whole to the power of x equals 5 over 4 whole to the power of x whole to the power of 2 so here as you can see you can find the common term 5 over 4 whole to the power of x and 5 over 4 whole to the power of x so we are going to substitute let 5 over 4 whole to the power of x equals capital x then we get 1 plus x equals x squared and bring all the terms one side so we have x squared minus x minus 1 equals to 0 we have got a golden equation where a equals 1 b equals negative 1 c equals negative 1 and we are going to find delta that's the second element of this video delta equals b square minus 4ac which is negative 1 the whole square minus 4 times 1 times negative 1 which is equal to 1 plus 4 that is equal to 5 and 5 is greater than 0 so delta is positive that means you have two real solutions that is x1 and x2 let's find it out using the quadratic formula negative b plus or minus under root of delta divided by 2a which is equal to minus of minus 1 plus or minus under root of 5 over 2 times 1 so we get 1 plus or minus square root of 5 over 2 and that's your golden ratio 1.6180 approx so x1 equals 1 minus square root of 5 over 2 and x2 equals 1 plus square root of 5 over 2 and as per our previous substitution x is equal to 5 over 4 whole to the power of x let's substitute it back in our equation so we have 5 over 4 whole to the power of x equals 1 minus square root of 5 over 2 and 5 over 4 whole to the power of x equals 1 plus square root of 5 over 2 as this comes to a negative term it can't be a solution it should be a positive term so we are going to take this term 5 over 4 whole to the power of x equals 1 plus square root of 5 over 2 now let's take natural log on both sides so natural log of 5 over 4 whole to the power of x equals natural log of 1 plus square root of 5 over 2 and we know that natural log of a to the power of n equals n natural log of a so we get x natural log of 5 over 4 equals natural log of 1 plus square root of 5 over 2 so for finding x 
uh, bring it to the other side natural log of 1 plus square root of 5 over 2 divided by natural log of 5 over 4 and that's your answer thanks for watching and making lk logic as the best channel ever and always supporting thank you so much bye bye take care